Welcome to Silo Design Solutions Tips and Tricks. Hello, my name is Mark Chinesk and I'm an application engineer with Silo Design Solutions. And in this video, we'll be discussing the Autodesk Shared Reference Coordinate plugin uh, from Autodesk. Now, this is a plugin you can get from Autodesk uh, from your account under Extensions, Updates, and Add ons. And there's a separate installation for Civil 3D and for Revit. And the purpose of this plugin is to tie in a coordinate and rotation angle from Civil 3D to your Revit model. In this particular Civil 3D drawing, I have a little subdivision here, and uh, my lots are set up, and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and grab a, uh, a wall outline, a building outline from Revit, and insert it into my Civil 3D drawing. So you can see I'm going to place it in this corner, and by the cocoa point I've placed there, you can see I have a northing and easting that's way up um, in the several hundred thousands. Uh, this is a state plane coordinate drawing. But if I go to my Revit model, here's a copy of the building outline I'm going to place. And you can see by the spot uh, coordinate that my northing and easting is nowhere near that. So that means every time I make an update to this Revit model and export it, I'm going to have to insert it into Civil 3D and move and rotate it every single time. Well, I'm going to show you by using the Shared Reference Coordinate plugin how you can change this value here within Revit so that every time you export it, it will always drop in the same place every time. Therefore, every time you make a change to your Revit model or an update and you issue an update of the building outline, uh, the engineering uh, company that's doing the site plans can go ahead and just insert that and replace the old one every time without having to move and rotate it. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead in my Revit model and I'm going to export this building outline to a drawing. So I'll come here and I'll export CAD formats DWG and I'm just going to save it as is. I'm going to go next and I'm going to save it here to my desktop. Once that's done I'm going to go back to my AutoCAD Civil 3D drawing and I'm just going to do a block insert. I'll just type the insert command and I'll browse for that block and it's here on my desktop. Now because this doesn't have a shared coordinate system I'm going to have to initially place it and rotate it within my drawing. So I'm going to set my insertion point to specify on screen. I'm going to ignore the message about the SHX files. And you can see the coordinate, I don't have a common place to tie this in, so I'm just going to drop it in place. And then I'm going to issue a move command to select my block. I'm going to move it by this base point and lay it on my Koga point. So I'll go node and use the node snap to snap to my Koga point. I'll then issue a rotate command, select my block, and I'll rotate about the endpoint, and I'll do a rotate by reference. I'll select my first line on the southeast corner of the wall, uh, a southwest corner of the wall, and then the northwest corner, and then I'll align it along the reference line that I've drawn in there. You can see now my building is placed in the right spot. So what I want to do now is I want to issue and start the shared reference point command. To do that, I make sure in my tool space to be in the toolbox mode. Now I have to have installed this shared reference point extension in both Civil 3D and in Revit. So here under the subscription extension manager category, I'll expand that. You can see here's the command Autodesk shared reference point. I'll expand that one more time to this export shared reference points for Autodesk extensions. I'll double click on that and in the command line it says select origin point. I'm going to select my Koga point so again I will type in node for my object snap and now it says select a point on the positive Y axis or the quasi north. I'm going to set this western wall here as my north point. Now when this dialog box comes up it says select units and confirm be very careful because the command defaults to meters every single time. So check your coordinates and select feet. You notice the, it picked my origin X, Y, and it picked Z because my Kogel point was elevated to 516.042.
and here's my rotation angle in the XY plane. Once I'm done I'll hit OK and it's going to ask me to save an XML file. For this example I'm going to go ahead and just save it on my desktop and I'm going to call it my shared ref point dot XML and hit save. Now back in Revit I'm going to go here in my building and I'm going to go to the add-in manager. You can see in the admin manager I have after installing the shared reference point I have this little toolbar here that says import shared coordinates from XML file. I will go ahead and click that to start the command and here at the bottom it says select origin point to align to. So the same thing I did in Civil 3D I'm going to select this corner as my corresponding corner for the insertion point and now it says select a point on the positive Y to align to and I'm going to pick the endpoint to this very same wall as I did in Civil 3D. And now it directs me to import the XML file. Here on my desktop is the XML file that I just exported from Civil 3D and I will open it. Are you sure you want to create the new shared coordinates, my shared reference point? Select yes. I've select successfully created my share point. Now to take this plan view here and use that shared point, I'm going to come over here in Revit to my Manage tab and pick on the Location button. And This will open up the Location, Weather, and Site dialog box. What I want to do is come to the Site tab and here are my sites to find the project. I have my internal, which is the current one, and here's that My Shared Ref point. That's the point XML file I just inserted. I'm going to highlight that and select Make Current and click OK. Notice my coordinates here on my spot coordinate uh, annotation has updated. If I look 807077, come back to my Civil 3D drawing, 807-07722, back to Revit, 161801, and 161801. Okay. With that, I can also come here in my View Properties window and I can change my orientation now from Project North, if I so wish, to True North. And you can see my uh, site plan has been rotated to match exactly what I had within Civil 3D. I'm now going to go ahead and export this model again. I can save my model at this time and now every time I export this site plan out to, uh, to a CAD drawing, the origin is now going to match my shared coordinate system. So I'll go ahead here and export CAD format DWG. To do this now I need to select an export setup. So I'm going to modify this and over here on the Generals tab, I got to make sure I select to use, uh, I'm sorry, in Units and Coordinates, I need to make sure I choose the Coordinate System Shared. So this is my shared, also that my drawing units are in feet. Okay. I can now Save Set and say Next. I'm going to select a new, I'll, I'll type in here, Shared origin outline. Now next time I come back to my Civil 3D drawing I'll go ahead and just delete this block here and I will do the insert command again. This time I'm going to browse for that new shared coordinate drawing and I'll open it. This time I can select my insertion point as 0, 0, 0. So every time after this I can just select 0, rotation 0, scale 0. As soon as I hit OK you can see the drawing just drops in place every single time. So from now on every time as the architect makes updates to, or changes to the building shape, the building outline and issues an update to Civil 3D, um, the engineer doing the site plans can always go ahead and just insert that drawing and drop it in to the new look to the same location as it was before. And this has been the shared reference points uh, for Autodesk Civil 3D and for Revit. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at mshinesk at siler-ds.com 
Please also don't forget to check out our blog at www.siler-ds.com forward slash blog. Thank you for watching.